Well, hello everyone. It's Pastor Chris here from Dundalk Wedland Church. Thanks for tuning in today. I'm doing this uh, video with my guest, Martin Shipson, a member of our church. And uh, we're just taking a few minutes to talk about some wonderful things. Uh, Martin and I have talked a few times on the phone during this time of COVID-19. And uh, just during the conversation that we had, I, I thought I, I wanted to share this, this conversation with our church family. And so, Martin, thank you for uh, being with us today. You're more than welcome. There you go. So, Martin, today is May 31st. It's Sunday, May 31st, 2020. Uh, it has been over 11 weeks since uh, the Ontario government declared a state of emergency. Uh, I want you to think back to that time. Um, the last Sunday that we were together uh, was, I believe, the 15th. I could be wrong. Uh, I'm thinking it was March 15th. Um, let me just see. Yes, it was March 15th. A and long time ago. It was a. It feels like a lifetime ago, doesn't it? Yep, it does. Um, it does. Um, so you were there. We're, I'm pretty sure you were there, right? I'm pretty pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, what were you thinking back then on say that last Sunday that we had our first in-person service? Uh, you know, what were you thinking about this COVID-19 situation? Well, to be honest, at that time, I really didn't think it would get out of hand the way it has with all the cases. I thought we could have done, done a better job, I guess, but it is what it is. And I didn't think uh, we'd be so fast to going to online church. Uh, I figured we'd have at least a month after that to come and figure things out but uh the way it worked out here we are doing all the church online yeah so, I, have to, I have to agree with you um back then uh i didn't realize that was going to be our last service together i yeah, still figured exactly. we, we had some time to um to keep planning and detailing and all that so with our it was a, a time where we were all kind of knocked off our feet for a bit. Um, exactly. So COVID-19 hits. The Ontario government declared a state of emergency. Uh, I know you're a painter by profession. Um, just so that everyone who's listening to this video knows, you're a painter. You have your own business. What did this do to your business? What did this do to your livelihood? Livelihood. Um, well, it, it certainly hit it, but for different reasons, like over 23 years, it's been a feast or famine. Like there's been times where I've had to stay home anyway, because waiting for other trades to finish a job or it was just slow. So I didn't mind actually having, you know, a week here, but when the crunch came and said, well, you can't paint because you're not allowed out, you're not allowed in people's homes. It's not a case of uh, a downturn. Or a case of having other trades uh, kind of stop you up. It was a case that you couldn't do anything. So in a way, sitting at home, I was I've been used to it. I managed to get things done. But when it started to hit, it was like, oh my word, I'm not going to be able to get any money coming. And I've got jobs booked right now. I got a folder file. So I said, what is going to happen? And uh, over 23 years, God's always provided, so the gray hair isn't worry, it's genetic, genetic. <laughs> so <laughs> so I, I just said to myself, something will come up, something will come up, and uh, God's always there, and he did. He, he came up actually large in a, in a big way, so. Well, there you go. Okay, uh, before we move on to that, I also know that at the time, your daughter, was pregnant with your first yep, grandchild. first grand boy. Yep. What What was that situation like during COVID nineteen? How did you feel about all that? Were you afraid for her her safety? Yeah, we were. Um, um, again, we knew we prayed. We we knew it was going to be safe. We we knew we were praying. Uh, Carol and I even before they moved. And that was a blessing in itself, Pastor Owens. They were on 23rd floor on a condo at square one with a dog, dog, 
with a ba new baby and not being able to go out, not being able to do social distancing because of the elevators. So they, we prayed for a house. They, they didn't, but I think they were hopefully wishing, which can be same thing, I guess. And uh, they ended up moving to Orangeville before all this COVID stuff done. So it became known. So even, even the son-in-law, we went down last week to pick up a patio umbrella from his mom and dad. And he said, timing is everything. You know, can you imagine, dad, what would be uh, like if we were still in that condo? You know, there's a lot of good. And he's not even a Christian. Well, he might be, but not practicing. But even he's saying there's blessings that you don't even foresee until, until dang, you think about it and they were there. Somebody's looking after you. Wow. Right? Yeah. That's so amazing. it's neat. So now they can, and it was good for us because, uh, it was hard not being able to go down and hold them. And Carol really didn't like that, like that. But, uh, you know, within a couple of weeks, we were down there six feet apart. We actually got to see them. So, and it's got better. So yeah, there's so, always a silver lining in every cloud. That's yeah. So congratulations on becoming well, a grandfather. Uh, yep. I've seen the picture of little Gray. He's adorable and uh, yeah, wonderful. He is. He is. Uh, he is. 11 weeks later, now we're here. And yep. uh, what, seems, uh, what seems so far out in the future is now reality. We're, we're living it. Um, yep. It's been a, 11 weeks for us as a church in which we've been online. Um, you know, question about that is, how did you feel about this switch, um, you know, when it comes to church? Did you see yourself doing church online, online? Uh, three years ago, ago, no, because I've only just recently got my smartphone. So it never even came into the realm of possibilities. But now that it's here, um, I was actually talking to this about someone the other day about, uh, uh, you know, what would happen if we had this COVID-19 where we were still carrying around Nokia flip phones? We wouldn't have Zoom. We wouldn't have anything. So, so like you said in this morning's sermon, you know, God's got his hand in everything. He's going to keep the church going one way or another. So I never thought I'd be doing it, but here we are. And here thank we, God we are doing it. Here we are. So, you know. So you're seeing God move in different ways. You've seen it through our church and just the fact that even though the church building is empty, um, you know, we're still doing church. The church is alive and 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 growing strong. Yep. Going going back going back to your work now. Oh, okay. Uh, you're you were in a situation, no income coming in, weren't allowed to work um things have changed what tell me i know i already know this and i want you to share it with the people tell me what god did for you oh okay um well i had counted up the man hours in the last eight weeks that i've worked i probably only have worked maybe two weeks but um uh an acquaintance who was a taper phoned up and asked me uh i'm i'm finishing some work for this builder you want me to give his name to you? And I said, sure, that'd be good. And it wasn't the regular builder that I use or uses me. And it was so cool because I went up to see him. He only had two guys there working and we stayed, you know, apart. We walked around, I emailed him a quote and I got it. And it was one of the bigger jobs of the last two years, money-wise, money-wise. And then the, uh, taper couldn't do his part so i ended up even taking over what he did so there was money coming in but it's going to be big enough that um it'll just take off the stress yeah when i go back i when i go back i can probably ask for another draw draw and that's the way it works as i said feast or famine but we're not starving yeah because we're getting paid and carol was off too for a month she actually uh, went to the doctor and got tested for it, and uh, it came back negative. So, a lot of things done. Fill my woodshed, man. Fill my woodshed for next year. That's so. awesome. <laughs> so, I mean, when you think about it, it looked it looked like at one point, at the very beginning of this, 
all the sources of revenue for your family had dried up and then all of a sudden you get this huge job that uh, uh wow. and it worked out and it worked and, out. and during all of this you are uh, you became a grandfather as well yep and, and everyone is helping everything changed so you know i've good. got a verse for you that i want to share it's jeremiah 29 verse 11 and it says for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future yep. i'm wondering do you have it do you have any thoughts on that verse i guess i lived it didn't i <laughs> amen and because actually another point that it is a new build and it, and it was started in last November. So it was pre COVID pre that timeline where they said you couldn't work. So it, it was safety all around. I didn't have to worry about anything. So he is looking out at first. We just have to see the signs. That, that is awesome. All right. Well, uh, before I uh, close off this meeting, um, do you have anything you'd like to share with your church family? It's been 11 weeks since we've been together. I'm glad you've uh, joined us. And, uh, just want to know if you had anything you want to say to, to the church family. Yeah, it's been 11 weeks, and uh, it's okay doing the online stuff, but you need that contact. And I miss, uh, miss talking to the people. And uh, I've talked to the worship team here and there. And uh, I really miss those guys. I miss the practices. One thing John always says, and if you're listening, brother, I, I start to understand how you feel about practices because they are pretty cathartic. And you need that escape just even one day. And uh, uh, I miss the worship team and I miss the music. And uh, yeah, so just keep safe, wash your hands, all that stuff. Yeah. And uh, God bless you all. Well, thank you, Martin. I can tell you, I miss hanging out with you at church. I miss uh, singing praise to God and and uh, following your lead. And uh, looking forward to the day we can get back together and do that. So, amen. God bless to you and to your family, and uh, blessings on that little grandson of yours. So, thank you. And uh, all right.